This is some outrageous shit. Welcome back, everybody. We are on map number three of... What the hell is this? Last Call. We're on map number three of Last Call. Oh, yeah. Better. Map number one, kind of, like, really short, but I enjoyed it. Map number two, super long, and I enjoyed it far less than the first map. Um, there were... Wait a minute, was all that actually... So, the beginning part of map two, I kind of liked. With the whole people getting dragged up in the air vents and stuff. Uh... Didn't enjoy kind of after that. It was, it dragged on. Map number one was eight minutes long. Map number two was 40 minutes long. The, why not just split that in? Emergency shit katana, okay. Um, why not just split that? You know, make, make two maps that are like 25 minutes long. That, that just, it's just so much of a huge difference. Don't like this, that looks really kind of crappy. And we're taking damage. And I'm almost dead. Nick, this is your cue, buddy. I'm gonna allow you to heal me. There we go. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is sketchy. I'm expecting a tank to like kill me here. Searchlights. Might be survivors there. We searchlights. Great. Or maybe a corpse fell on the searchlight light. So we're checking out. Is that really how your brain works? I hear a hunter. This is a fish in the barrel type setup. If you go. I think uh, Valve actually put out like a Leoparded 2 design thing for modders a really long time ago when the, the first one came out. And they had, you know, the different types of Leoparded setups and there's, you know, like there's the narrow dangerous hallways to get, uh, you know, the choke points for survivors or to, uh, to get attacked by special infected. And one of the area, one of the area types is like a large sort of semi-open area hey, I'm that lets you just kind of pick off a bunch of uh, um, straggler kind of walking zombies. And I forget what the official name was, but I call it fish in a barrel because that's kind of what it is. Reloading. Zombies in a barrel doesn't roll off your tongue as well. I don't like these these cliffs. It's all it looks all brush. Well, come on, man. I'm trying to talk here. Uh, it's displacement, but it's super minor bumpy. It might as well be brushes with how steep it is. Anytime you're, I mean, man, go <laughs> for anyone making mods. Do reference. Do check reference stuff. Reference material for everything you're making. Reload. If you're making an outdoor area, check references reload. for like forests and cliffs and you know, just generally that kind of stuff because you're not gonna find a cliff that is as straight as that anywhere. And uh, even, even, oh, this is bad. This is bad. Seriously, this is gonna be the end, isn't it? Ah, maybe not. I might fall, but oh, they got me. Uh, you're never gonna find even even sh really super sheer cliffs. They generally have quite a bit more character than than that does. And by character, it's sort of here. imperfection kind of things. Uh, yeah, nice. I'm a I'm a fan of imperfection passes Reloading. where. You know, rotate everything in your map two degrees in a random direction and, you know, just slap on some outcropping rocks or something onto your cliffs and things like that. It just makes the world a bit more believable because when things are too manufactured, it looks too... It looks too manufactured. It doesn't look real. Okay, we're heading to this thing. There's nothing kind of pulling me through this uh, this area here. 
I'm okay with like wide open environment that you can explore and stuff, but I prefer like one thing pulling me through the entire area. That way I can I can have an anchor to go All back right, to if weapons. I if I get kind of lost or something. Um, plopping me down in a field is not super ideal for me anyway. Here. Is there anything over there? Doesn't look like it. Combat shotgun? Let's switch. Switch. Where? Where? Where are you? There you are. I'll let them take care of him. That's not good. Witches be bad. Smokers be bad. Well, still alive. Did I shoot a teammate? Oh well. They probably deserved it. Reloading. So, what is this area? We still don't know what kind of thing. Quotes is uh, Outpost 7 or whatever it was that the radio told us to go to. Restricted area, my ass. Oh man, I'm not liking this. That, this looks silly. Pipe bomb here! That means we can throw a pipe bomb. Well, they're gonna grab all that stuff. Defib unit here. Healing. Cover me, please. Uh, these stairs Stop are I'm gonna not to metric. That takes me up. Really. Smoker. Oh, well, I'm better dead. now. Definitely not to metric. <coughs> oh, right. Pipe bomb. Hey. Oh, god damn it. Seriously, super dark area. I'm coming. Hello. Don't shoot the gas can. Freaking me out here. Pipe bomb out. All right, I'm gonna go back. Those stairs also not too much. Uh, I like that car going by. I was, I've always kind of had a plan for doing like a. Now this one can kill some uh, zombies. Oh, I didn't. Do that. I guess I'll keep it. Where did that pipe bomb go? Um, you know how, like, in, uh, Dawn of the Dead, how, uh, hey, no one, everyone's ignoring the charger. In Dawn of the Dead, it's, it's, uh, appealing to me because it's, it's literally, like, the morning after, right, of, like, everything bad going on. And so you see, like, people running around, you see the zombies actually chasing other people other than you. And it's sort of a scenario where slow motion. Okay, uh, it's a scenario where in other games it makes the world feel more alive because there's more than one faction. Uh, it's not just now. zombies attacking you. There's zombies attacking a, hey, watch out for the a second party. And so I'd always wanted to try that out. Having uh, I believe you can you can make a chase points, chase entities for zombies to chase after, and I, I've wanted to do things like that where, you know, there's a there's a car going down a street and zombies are chasing it. Why can I not shoot that damn gas can? Enough of you. And uh, yeah, I never got around to it. I haven't really even experimented very much with it, but it's been on my, on my list of things I want to do. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll figure it out and do a tutorial on it sometime. Let's go get Nick. Oh, that's not good. Run, Nick, run. I owe you one. Reload! 
Reloading! Walk this shit off. Weapons over here! Well, we're back to being kind of dead again. Super Dark Area 2 here. as well. Grenade! Also to the sequel. Um, these, uh, these sprites, they don't cast light. These are sprites, not uh, light entities. So, you know, you have this, but they're not casting a light. That's, that's hella janky. That's uh, something to be conscious about when doing uh, sprites with with cars and stuff if they're if you're doing stuff with the the brake lights and stuff Reloading. this the geometry really has taken a dive oh crap I missed oh this is super bad they're all three are gonna die Seriously, I just killed. I just killed Coach. I regret nothing. Oh, this stuff sucks. That's all right. I'm gonna try to. Nope, I can't do it. I was gonna try to go up for the gas can. Nick Ellis, you gotta hold out. You gotta hold out. Not dead yet. I'm hoping this won't be another 40-minute map because we're kind of screwed if it is. Do you think Coach was his first or last name? I'm, I'm actually kind of considering healing another NPC. Machete here. And now I need to walk yeah, slow for them. More natural geometry that doesn't look natural. There's a lot of that. Oh my goodness. Good, no damage taken. Oh, that hunter did die, okay. Reloading, reloading. I'm hoping to find something shiny and blue that we can pick up. There's coach. Sorry I'll kill you, buddy. Oh crap. Sorry, my bad. Alright, let's let's go grab you. Oh, good job, coach. Good job. Someone grab the health kit. Coach, First aid here. Ellis, something. Boomer bile here. Let's see here. Just a boomer bile in there. All right, that's fine. I've been hauling this gas can around for quite a while. This is just a sprite or just a light, or I don't see a flare model. Okay, I see a flare model. That is just super bright. I don't like it. Flares also are a flickering light. I believe there's an actual light setting for flare, possibly. Through here. It's a you know when you when you make a light, there's you know flicker and uh, what is it, a fluorescent light and stuff. And I think one of them is flare. I could be wrong. I am running out of ammo here. But that's alright. Oh, kill that, so we don't have to deal with that. Jesus. Derpy AI. Okay, let's wait for Coach. Seriously, we just rescued you, Coach. You're healing already. This ain't right. Got a machete. Nothing kind of leading me through this area here. Uh, don't know what which way to go. I'm down with explorable spaces, but I like to know where I'm supposed to go. Because there's a difference between exploring and being lost. Right now we're we're lost. 
to a minor degree. We don't know where we're going. Whoa, 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 okay. I saw the gun up here there. What's going on here? Collision is is a bit weird here. I'm I'm clipping on something. Did we can we even get in this building? I don't think we can. There was another path that went that way, but I'm already committed to this. Stop standing in the goo! Seriously, all three of them straight up moved right into the goo. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I'm really not liking this uh, this environment here. It's I I am enjoying that it's single use weapons, but I'm not getting led through this area. We kind of lost our spotlights. Oh wait, our spotlights were for that building for the last map. And this area is is kind of um, looping around oh, on itself. Man. It's like a big area with large obstacles in it so that you can kind of go in a circle and a figure eight around them. But there's no... There's nothing telling me the right way to go. And which way is the, hey, go explore this this way or things way. Pipe bomb. And I don't Reloading. like that. This looks... What in the world is that? Is that a tree? Oh, that's a parachute. I saw the I saw the silhouette of the guy there. I'm trying to find a place to what's going on here? Okay. Just can I just do that? What in the hell? She just disappeared. Or actually she was just killed. Or destroyed rather. Institute destroyed. Oh, you're not letting me in here? That's interesting. I like that though. That's kind of cool. I would like it if it was barricaded there. This is environmental narrative here. I like it. That's good. I'm down. I'm down! Should we... Man, these props in this room. Man. Uh, well, that's a physics... Come on now, put it behind uh, you. You I good? Guess. You good? Still clipping Weapons on it. Over here. Um, trying to figure things out here. Pull the lever to start the raft. I... Oh man, moving platforms with bots is just bad news. Weapons over here. This is probably why I'm never gonna do anything like this. Alright, um, hope for the best here. We all remember Beldura 2, right? I kind of wish there was. I kind of wish there was, uh. rails at some point on this? Because. Because there's not, and a smoker is gonna kill us. Or a jock. Let's light the gas can on fire underwater. This is why I'm not gonna do moving platforms. Where's that frickin' smoker at? He's annoying me. Oh, I didn't want this. Where's my gun? <laughs> Damn it, Ellis. I guess that was my bad. And Nick is dead. It's just a matter of time, Nick. It's over. And then Coach is going to go down to rescue Nick. And... And then Ellis will go rescue Coach. Am 
Ammunition. This is why I want rails on the sides. Or um I don't know, just just He doesn't appear to be taking damage. I'm waiting for the smoker to get the next person, and I'm gonna try to rescue them as fast as possible. He doesn't appear to be taking damage, so it's not set to uh, damage volume. But you'll notice how how janky it, it is for the zombies to get up here. Like half the time they... Oh, this is the beginning of the end here. There goes Ellis. There goes Coach. Um, you, you'll notice that like, you know, 20% of the time they actually get onto the platform and stuff. And that is... That is just a problem with moving platforms. I'm hiding from... I'm hiding from the smoker because I'm all alone here. And if I die here, I'm not gonna play this again. I will just start on map four. And I think this is a rolling crescendo here. Nope, game over, game over. Alrighty then, let's go to map number four. It looked like this was near the end as well. Uh, did not enjoy this. The, this probably is not an issue in like an actual human, like a four person human game. But um, if you're, anytime you're doing stuff with, you gotta keep the bots in mind and, and have to unfortunately work around the derpiness of the system. I believe if you just add, like, trigger push it, well, yeah, I don't know. If you add trigger pushes on the outside of the raft, that'll push them in. That means they won't be able to leave the raft unless they get smokered off. But, I mean, that is that is just, it's too much of an instant kill scenario right there on that raft. It's, you know, uh... Smoker can pull you off relatively easy. It's a super small raft as well. There's only one safe area, which is that little cubby thing. And there's just no... There's, It's super risky, and it's just... Uh, when you're playing with bots, when you're playing with three bots, it's just... It's a, it's a cascading failure. It's a war of attrition there. So I'm going to skip ahead and check out map number four. That is the finale, and that will be next time.